everyone, welcome back to Art a la Carte, and in today's episode, we're going to be doing a cheap paint challenge. Pencil and some paper, and the best part is having lots of fun with Art a la Carte. For this challenge, I'm not going to be using store-bought paints. I'm going to be using paints that you guys have been asking and asking and asking that I use, which is markers? If you didn't see my cheap marker challenge, um, I definitely recommend that you go check that out um, and you will see how this idea came about. But I used these cheap markers that I got at my local Dollar Tree to make a picture and it was really a challenge. And so I ended up busting one open and taking the like fibers out and trying to make paint out of it and it worked but I only did it with one color um, so I just said in theory I suppose you could color or create a picture using paints made out of uh, marker um, and then overwhelming comments and emails from you guys saying please do a painting using the marker paint <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do today I'm going to take and bust all these up and make some paint Mess. You can also tell I haven't got nearly as messy the first time I did it. So, I mean, that's all the markers I pulled out. That will wash up rather easily. So I'm just going to put a few drops in each section. All right, now I'm going to take a paintbrush and I'm just gonna kind of mush them up. And if I need more water, I can grab it. But right now, already, I have some nice paint on there just by tapping on the fibers. Questions I had about this is that, um, what happens when these dry out? I mean, is it ruined or can you keep using them? So I made this one when I made the first video, this was the, the one I did. As you can tell, it's completely dried out. So let's test it. So I'm gonna add a few drops of water here and we'll see what happens. Rinse off the yellow a little bit. It's really dried out, so I mean, like completely dried out. So I'm mushing it around there. And as you can see, the paint is coming back. So, I mean, for cheap paints, it does come back for you. So now that we have made our paints, let's get to creating. I'm gonna put the paints off to the side here. Grab my paper. Okay, so as I paint this little painting, I'm gonna give you some of my thoughts on using really cheap paints. They act a little bit like watercolor, but they're not. So yeah, like certain aspects of them respond like watercolor does. And then they kind of respond a little bit like painting with ink. Um, well, because that's what it is, it's a ink watercolor based ink in the marker and then they are completely like you know their own thing so at certain times they blend and certain times they don't and I'm not exactly certain why certain colors I get a super vibrant color I get a lot of paint and other ones I don't get hardly any pigment um, which is interesting I would say I would get maybe two or three of these types of paintings with before the ink is gone maybe not even three. Um, and I only say that because I colored a really big picture with these before I did this. So I used up, I'm sure, a lot of ink doing that. And I had definitely enough ink to do this painting, but by the end, some of the markers were really running dry. And I'll show you at the end of the painting kind of what I mean by uh, what the paints look like after I've used them. Purple, you'll see later on as I use purple more, 
um, was really my most vibrant color. It had the best stain power. And there's kind of like a bluish green um, that also was really nice. I think the blue would have been really nice, but I used a ton of it in the in my marker challenge, and so I didn't have really a, a lot of ink with that. I had some. I was really kind of disappointed in some of the more reddish orange pieces. Uh, they just didn't have hardly anything in them, and the ink they did have was really just faded and just didn't shine out and you know work really well. I mean, they're cheap watercolors, but all in all, I think the paints responded way better than what I thought they were going to. Would I use them for future drawings? Eh, no, probably not. I'm probably going to chuck the rest of these and use my container for something else. But it was a fun experiment. It was a fun thing to take and try to make something out of something else. Um, instead of just throwing the markers away after the cheap marker challenge, you know, try my hand at making art with them with using them as paint and it worked I really appreciate it I thought it was a lot of fun first I was just going to do a cat and then of course as you can see it's now a rainbow cat and then as it got going I thought oh I know who this cat is this is a baby Cheshire kitten <gasps> oh my goodness um and I just totally think this would be like Cheshire kittens would look like they're kind of deciding their color scheme. So I decided to give him a little bit of mischievous grin, which immediately took away from the realism. I mean, obviously he's not too realistic. He is a rainbow cat. But as soon as I put a, a half smile on his face, which I think is adorable, it kind of cartooned him a little bit. But I don't care. I think he's adorable. I think he has to be my little mascot. I don't know. There may be more baby Cheshire kittens in the future, uh, I can foresee that because I had a lot of fun creating him. And I've always, always loved the Cheshire cat character in the Alice in Wonderland stories. So, <laughs> so cute. So here we go. The finished piece right here. It's still, you know, drying a little bit. I used a lot of water towards the end. Um, once it fully dries, I might take my gel pen. Actually, it might be dry enough right there. Yeah, it is. let's see if we can get my gel pen to add a little bit of shine in his eyes. I find just putting a little shine in eyes just really brings a little bit of life to your character. So here are my paints, so you can see, um, pretty well used. So there we go, my finished challenge piece. So let me know, have any of you guys made paint out of your old markers? And if so, what did you paint? And how did you like it? <laughs> let me know also in the comment section below for any other challenge ideas. And I will put in, I will also put a playlist for all the challenges. I've done a three marker challenge, a 10 marker challenge, a crayon challenge. I've done that twice, I think, a crayon challenge. Um, and then I've done a cheap marker challenge. If you're brand new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. That's so encouraging to me to see the thumbs up or to get a comment from you guys just talking to me about that. Um, I love that. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And until next time, God bless you guys. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Can you stand on your head?